What is up guys, Dan from the Zayman YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at an absolute man shredder out of the Gun Bunch formation in Madden 21. But before we get into the video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you guys take the time to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads coming your way here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. If you wanna take your game to the next level in Madden 21, please check out my brand new strategy site, gridirongameplans.gg. Gridiron Game Plans is your one-stop source for all things competitive Madden. Every week in our vault updates, we take a look at the most effective tactics available or the meta of competitive Madden, showing you not only how the meta works, but most importantly, how to counter those metas. That way you guys are equipped to use it or abuse it in online head-to-head -head gameplay. On top of that, your subscription also includes any and every offensive and defensive game plan released on the website while your subscription is active. We have just released a vault update showing the dime defense that took me to a 22 and one record with two DC losses in weekend league. I also broke down a blitz package out of the nickel triple and how to shut down the backfield master. But most importantly, this coming weekend, we're going to show you guys how to completely annihilate the bench press meta. I'm talking two or three bench press players on your field. Even with the new AP cost of bench press, you're still going to face it. And this weekend, we're going to show you how to shut off the lights. You should almost never, if you know what you're doing, take a bench press penalty at any spot on the field, even when the player is pressing you. I cannot wait to bring these findings out to you. It's going to be in our vault as a special update, a second update this week coming this weekend. So be on the lookout, guys. Go over to gridirongameplans.gg slash subscribe. $9.95 will get you access to everything on the website. Without further ado, let's get into today's tip. We're gonna be talking about the Gun Bunch Week formation and a route that is in it, and it is in a couple playbooks. It's in six playbooks, actually. And the play that we're gonna be looking at is the 518 hook. Now, 518 hook is going to take advantage of very, very special route, which is the S post from the inside compression receiver not really inside compression. He's just the outside receiver in the bunch, but the formation is compressed. And this play can be found in the Broncos, Dolphins, Giants, Packers, Titans, and Patriots offenses. Now, why is the Patriots offense the one that should stand out most to you? Well, if and when EA gets to putting the Madden Live playbooks in the game, we know that there's quarterback blast or power coming to the Patriots playbook due to the fact that they have Cam Newton in real life. And that's going to turn the Patriots playbook into a very solid shotgun pass with not some great quarterback mobility to a playbook that you actually now have to worry about the quarterback running. And I think that if you're looking ahead, the Patriots book is going to become a fan favorite. And this is the type of play that can absolutely put the meta on its head. So let's go ahead and talk about the bench press. Bench press ability, uh, it's well documented at this point. If you uh, have a good press corner with the bench press ability, he will fatigue the receiver off the line on route. So if I motion Julio Jones out wide and I streak him, you see how right there, Julio actually got a good release and he wasn't penalized. But a lot of times what ends up happening is that defensive back will light up and end up pressing him. And when that DB lights up, you might as well not throw to that player because what ends up happening is he fatigues out and he'll run his route the rest of the way slower. So kind of want to show you an example here. Uh, get Julio to light up. Julio has actually got really, really high release rating. Um, so he doesn't get pressed as much, but you will see that there will be times where he will get pressed. And what you can see right here as I run that S post is that it's unbumpable. And that's from the out wide position. But one thing that you may notice is that uh, sometimes when you are running routes against a bench press corner is that they'll completely take them out of the play. Um, so right here with Julio, he's a, the type that can avoid a guy like Ramsey, but you're going to run into issues where Ramsey is going to completely shut down players. Now, this is a route that actually doesn't get pressed when you run it from a compressed alignment. Um, it also really doesn't get pressed when you run it from a wide alignment either. Um, it could be your choice, but this route in general will absolutely torch one step ahead and bench press. Now, right now I'm getting absolutely hollered at by the by the Rams, but you could definitely tell that in this play, even when you play press, that Jalen Ramsey cannot handle this S post. So here's an example of cover one Robert Press. You notice how Julio is able to just run away from that. Now, of course, we're getting screamed at because the Falcons line's giving up pressure. 
but you can see how every single time we're playing press right now with this particular route on the field Jalen Ramsey cannot press it and that results in Julio really roasting and getting open to this side of the field now obviously in regs Jalen Ramsey also not only has the bench press but he has one step ahead and that's the reason that he's making this play so close but in mutt you're going to face uh dbs that are just going to have bench press most likely are not going to have one step ahead because that's now a six ap cost so what you're seeing right here in ramsey even sticking with the route to begin with is the fact that he has one step ahead but he can't get you on the press he cannot get you on the press so you see right there he lights up for one step ahead and still even with one step ahead this route is going to cook that, that player so if you want to see what this looks like when you're not facing the one step ahead ability, clearly the bench press can't handle this. If you want to see what it looks like against somebody who doesn't even have one step ahead, let's just go ahead and take Ramsey off the field. Obviously, Julio's going to cook whoever on this play because he's a great receiver. But we'll play, you know, your standard two man under here. And I'll show Julio on that route. So playing press. And you're going to see here that Julio's going to run away from them twice. So when Ramsey was lighting up with one step ahead, he was keeping the route close to that ability. But when you get this example, you see how Julio just really cooks that route. And the great thing about this route is that it stays in a spot on the field where a deep half cannot get to it. So you see here in the Tampa two, or I'm sorry, the cover two man, you've got this safety wrap. He cannot get over to this throw. It stays low enough where Julio is working the field in a spot where that guy can't get to it. Now, you saw actually on that play that Long Jr. actually did a pretty good job on that route. Um, did a pretty good job. But in general, you just see how it can't really be, it can't really be pressed and it just runs away. So as you see, it just runs away from that guy. Now, in terms of man coverage, you wanna make sure that you're isolating this route. You don't wanna have on this play, Ridley running a route into the same area of the field. So if I know it's man coverage, I'll put Ridley on, you know, a drag, uh, I'll put him on a, a slant. I'll put him on a, you know, an in route. I'll put him on a smoke. If I think that they're playing hybrid coverage and not manning him up, that way I could check him down and play a high-low game with Julio. There's a lot that you could do here on this play, but in general, keep Ridley out of the way of Julio so that way he can run this route and get separation in this spot on the field and stay underneath of that deep half defender. Um, so again, we'll go ahead and show you. Here's press coverage again. And if you keep Ridley low, just make sure he's not running his, his defensive back into that area. You should be fine on this play. Um, in terms of the routes with the tight end and the uh, slot receiver, I would say you probably should be looking at maybe a motion slant of gauge. I think that that's gonna give you the most option to beat man coverage, probably an out route to your tight end if he has good short route running, uh, will allow you to really work against man. So you're gonna get you know, three guys on bumped on this play. You see how Julio can kind of uh, stay underneath of those deep half zones. So two man under really is going to struggle with this play. Um, so I, I would probably stay content with a route combo like this against man, because I think what you're going to notice is that people might, uh, if they're giving up this route enough on the outside that they might start to play like hybrid coverage in the middle of the field um, where maybe they want, you know, this guy kind of dropping into an area. And that's why that route to Ridley can be valuable is because if they don't play man coverage on him, that serves as a great little check down for you. So you see here in this example, you know, um, you, you keep him low so that way he doesn't really get his guy into the area that you're throwing to, if, if that makes sense. You just don't want two guys running routes in the same area of field against man coverage because when when Ridley is out there running that route deep down the sideline, that's going to bring his guy into the equation. You see right, right here how now you're throwing the ball in between three defenders instead of making it an isolation ball. So this is 518 hook. This is a great route that you should be using against both cover two and cover one man. I think that it is really, really good against cover zero, obviously. So if they're playing cover zero and pressing you and you know that that's coming, you can be prepared for it. You know, you might be able to, you know, set up some sort of block and release and work against the cover zero. You see how this can end up being a one play score for you if you are able to turn that up the sideline. So man coverage doesn't have a chance against this. One step ahead doesn't have a chance against this and the bench press ability can't press it. So this is probably the ultimate 
man beating route in terms of the split and the type of route again you do want to make sure that you have 90 deep route running 90 release to make sure that you get the extra cut and separation on those cuts against the one step ahead ability but you should be fine with just 90 deep route running um or 90 release to make sure that it doesn't get pressed as well